Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. This is Karthik from IT Learn. We are now into a Selenium live project orientation. So there's a lot that we need to talk about it. What is this program all about? Who is it for? Any prerequisites that you need to have? How we go about enjoying what kind of a benefits is it that we will achieve out of it and the process overall team um, simple topics i'm just going to quickly go over and write the keywords and explain them so team this is primarily put what you learned to practice all right so all the post your training when you do your projects your assignments and so on that we've been providing when you are putting them into practice in a real world simulation or actual project and team i wouldn't tell you myself it's an actual project or no because when i say actual or not there's this understanding in the market but all the projects in a real world simulation or actual projects so you, you will work hands on into it it is a team exercise so you will be part of an project team and that team is your go to guys for tech issues uh, project status reviews mock interviews <clears throat> assistance to each other so it is a very team driven project and you will communicate assistance um, team go to guys for uh, schedule faqs and so on okay Team communication within, um, so team communication, you kind of use Skype, WhatsApp, uh, go to meeting or go to webinar. Uh, your project management tools, I will say, okay, as you go along, they, we will use a lot of tools team. How you communicate with your each, with your team and the effort slash time required to be part of this project i'm sorry <clears throat> so how does this work team let me kind of draw a diagram and maybe um, show that how many people do we have so far and uh, audience for those who've just joined please ensure that you fill in this sheet with your information we will get there all right let's take a pen maybe in different color all together and maybe yeah let's try this so where are we how does it come now not good uh, i change this to take a oops I went smaller there you go all right what were we talking about where were we? Live project team required and so on. Cool. So there is one project team. This project could be ongoing for a long duration or project which we started in the recent couple of months. Okay. Now that project gets divided into multiple teams. All right. Team one, team two, all the way to team N. Typically, we have no more than five to six teams that is what our capacity we kind of do each team has about five to ten members okay now each of you basically have different skills so some of you may be good in selenium okay so you can represent some of your members that they're good in selenium some of you could be very good in frameworks as a concept so when i say selenium could be a selenium web driver commands how to automate various applications <clears throat> uh, some of them you could be very comfortable with coding and programming 
some of you could be more manual testing and QA and that is fine so a mix and match of such a skill is required for every automation project we will require this kind of a bag skill so this way we can form a pyramid so even if I have let us say only a few of you uh, I have a lot of manual testers who don't have too much on Selenium. Yes, you can do a few things. What is it that you can do? You know, I let us say I have uh, fewer people who know coding or framework. Can we still manage this project? Absolutely, yes. Okay. Now, here is where the beauty comes, team. As I explained to you the concept of it, the primary difference comes that one Team number one does it in their way, okay? They will use different tools. Could be Selenium, could be, uh, you know, with Trello and uh, so on. Team two does the same project, but this time they've used, let us say, any art. Or team three has gone all the way and used, uh, let's say, only manual testing. So the same project is being executed differently by each of us all right when a project starts we start with number one what is that application all about the application and the test and we talk about the schedule we have to give you an overview any kind of an existing documentation on it and don't be very happy about it team because uh, most of the times we won't have documentation it's something that we have to learn to build how do we do it looking at half given information uh, we go about understanding the project timelines the project timelines become important what are the deliverables what is it that we need to do so this project can be treated as two ways one that hey it's a practice project let me try and waste or rather take as much time and complete or no let us be serious both are fine as long as you're serious on your output team and believe me what happens is very simple in IT and projects these five to ten members go up and down like you'll have dropouts you'll have people who will join you you'll see people who are very very nice at heart and ambitious and really supportive may not be technically skilled may be technically skilled you will find a bunch of it now here is what happens team as part of this program you need to spend quality time with your team and this we will keep discussing what is it most your team is remote so you need you cannot show your face at okay not not like that you cannot show up at work but you can but you work can be showcased this is the beauty of you know work from home and remote jobs team where we're able to work independently like i am there right now sitting in la but you're aware that i'm working there is a visibility there's a communication there's progress how do we keep showcasing that within this you have to and these skills team as you go about you'll understand wow this is something that is very real project like and you'll have challenges and first thing about challenges no spoon feeding okay go to your team first look at it hey you know what i have a question before i go and ask the project owner we have roles and titles for the project so let us say i'm the project lead or owner how do i guide you how do i put you into it how do you follow my instructions now you may have 10 questions those 10 questions a lot of times your team will have answers within so discuss within your team come up with discussions strategies ideas how do we present what powerpoint how do we show this document or this script it'll be very very interesting team and roles are critical <clears throat> It is okay to do round robin is okay like you know uh, each can be a presenter now what do i mean by each time just an example just one example now what does this mean team 
Now, we typically take this as almost like, look at it like a reality project. Each of you will start working and we will have different weeks, okay? So this week zero, one, two, three, four plus. JPAC members team, believe me, they go four plus. They go to 14, 15, 16, 18, 20 months also because the projects and learnings are intense and they go about capturing a lot of, um, how do I say, um, confidence in them that, okay, this is what I need. This is what I need. So they keep going. So each team, from each team, one representative, one at a time, volunteer, play nice with your team members, build the right attitude uh, within, uh, in a very nice non-political atmosphere team. Look at productivity, look at guiding, be very helpful. So you present in week zero, maybe you're presenting in week, next week and so on. What are these presentations team? Very simple. Each team gets to work on the project. Oops, and in the same team too. The different names that we give and let's say this is team three okay and then we'll have our panel of people that includes me um and a couple more people that i'll try and bring in uh one for administrative one for technical where we review what you've done in the project so each time we do about two times per week we meet and you come up and say, this is what we're doing, Karthik. This is as a team. We've gone through this and we've done this so far. These are the tools we're using. This is where we were stuck. This is what we discussed. We did some research and we've made the solutions. As of now, there are a couple of questions that we have uh, apart from here's my demo. And that becomes very interview-like, like project presentations. So this twice a week meetings will give you the strength of presenting see i can have the best profile team how many times have we seen great skills uh, sometimes um, lack of awesome leadership or communication presentations have died and that is very important it is just simple presentation what is it that we've done and the big thing is you learn a lot from your team members and a lot more from other teams so visualize this every week you're presenting in a one and a half hour session you've got about 15 minutes each of you go about four or five teams going in presenting it so you not only are you seeing what is being done by your team members and where we are progressing oh wow look at this team they're doing something amazing and this team has nice concepts they're smarter oh you know what there's another team which is in challenge can we merge them you will be able to see different approaches to the same concept or solution or assignment or project so these teams kind of become combined you work with each other you help each other to start with on the project but all the way as buddies into your career growth so we still have so many JPAC and New York members as groups and groups and groups that survive and they interact with each other. Sometimes they're more advanced than what we're teaching as well. But this is how this program will get structured. In. Very hands-on, very project-like. You'll work in remote atmosphere. You have to show yourself. You have to spend at least 10 to 40 hours per week. Team. This is like almost, let's say, five days a week. It's about two hours a day. It's not like training team. I can't sometimes define how much time things take. But if you're committed for two hours, we can get one hour solid work. Sometimes it can take three, four hours. Lot of debugging, lot of midnight oil burning. Now, who is this for team? Let's talk about who is this program for? Let us say you're manual engineer, manual QA engineer, okay, looking you know what manual QA engineer you are working QA trained selenium trained okay if you're already a selenium QA 
engineer, <clears throat> uh, you're an SDET or an automation lead, you can ignore this. You get what I'm saying, team? So if you happen to be one of these, then you can ignore, no problem on that. Uh, but otherwise, it is primarily for manual test engineers. Your QA or Selenium trained. Either of these two categories works fine, team. Okay, anything else? Overkill. Now, if you're not a manual QA engineer or QA or Selenium trained, there's nothing much we can do. Why? Because we need the prerequisites. Right from manual testing, test management and defect slash pro test project comma test comma defect management tools you need to know selenium web driver so all those oh there was other sheet it's working in the morning here so all of these skills team primarily i'm expecting Now what happens, let's say we don't have, we have, we don't have, so what do we do about it? I'll talk about it, okay? Mm. No, let here. So as part of, okay, let me kind of take this into the next one. Program is here. Who is it for is coming? I'm also building documentation team, so it's easy for you to refer to. Prerequisites for the program. This is manual testing portion. Now let's look at Format Painter. Put it here. Ah, come on. <laughs> Now, these are the things that we're expecting team. Let's quickly look at them, what they are and how relevant are they. So when it, when we talk about prerequisites, I'm saying manual testing, you should know the entire process, how we can work with basic web applications. Selenium IDE, how do we do element identification, especially working with XPath. May not be all the way to dynamic elements. You could be stuck somewhere, but you are uh, proficient enough to do a Google search and find things. All right, then we have the ability of how we can work with automation testing tools like Eniot or Catalon, be it Selenium IDE and so on. And how we go about looking at uh, ERA as a concept and understanding about automation frameworks, why we should get there into automation testing. Once we get into automation testing, all the way from building simple Selenium web driver uh, scripts using Java all the way to data, keyword, page object model, and page factories. These kind of hybrid frameworks that we do. Now, this is my expectation team as a prerequisite to the project. Like I said and mentioned, while it is not very, how do I say this? Um, critical that you're an expert in each of them, and you could be playing multiple roles possibly as a Selenium engineer or framework expert or a coder or a manual tester, this is what we expect team. What benefit we have is master all above skills by end of it. That's our team, okay? You have to go through in depth, each of them. Okay, I know this, I know this, I know this, this is what. Add new market-based tools 
to your research. So that is where you have freedom to go and say, hey, you know what, Karthik, I'm hearing a lot about this tool called, let's say, Postman, or, uh, you know, let's say Microsoft testing has come back into market again. Can we use that Karthik instead of what you're suggesting? Absolutely, yes. So you can uh, choose your tools for the project. And the collective output from all teams becomes your learning or mention on resume or resume what does it mean team so whatever you've done all the hard work that you've put in into the project when you look at it is just not for one team you have multiple teams who are doing it different ways while you might have done the project using let us say any art some other members must have built a custom page object model using selenium and j unit or test ng let us say uh, so you could get to mention both. You're an expert at one, but you can say that the project has also been experimented on this. We did a few prototypes. We did this prototype, that prototype, and so on. Now this is what we are doing. So it adds to your keywords on your resume team. There is no way, and believe me, your resume will become extremely powerful. It kind of, how do you say, um, changes every, um, Power boost your resume with the right keywords for job search engines. You get that confidence and the ability to put them into execution that, okay, this is what I am. All right. Your benefits are also the fact that your learning has been measured. <clears throat> You have developed where your skill gap metrics is developed. You know what your weak and strength areas. And you're going about fixing them. And as a team, you get mutual benefit and assistance from team members. A lot of these activities team, mock interviews, discussions, debates, Controversies, challenges, issues, how you come over them. Why did I misspell assistance twice? All this really adds to a team. These are real project experiences. Gives you the one second team. Hold on. Um, real project experience gives you the ability to showcase during interviews. So your confidence level, hands on, confidence goes up team. And we have done, this is based on my experience. We have done how many? I would say easily over. 30 Selenium live project uh, events. Some of the standard applications go through them, some new applications, client driven uh, or are research based. There's a lot that we have been doing. So this program has always been our prime highlight. So what is the process? Very simple. We do a team formation. We start with an AUT overview. Uh, project timeline plus scope plus expectations we will set that up so we know exactly what we are doing everyone with me any questions challenges that is like i'll come to your q and so team please be ready with all your questions i'll i'm ready for q and a in the next few minutes we have to do this this includes a lot of things team skill um, metrics identification um assign reassign sometimes review meetings
deliverables um presentations team very focused important each time you present and say how Karthik, this is what we we're doing this is how we did this is what we did it gets very interesting so keep them interesting this is your golden opportunity and we also will need an nda team now the reason this is important is some of the projects that we're working uh, cannot be disclosed as an ip or information you could mention them in your resume but you cannot go about disclosing what you've done in the project to outsiders nothing confidential information can be shared all right what do we have so i think i'm towards the end of it i'm creating another folder for selenium live project whatever we have i'm starting to put we have a very few members and we don't so i'm looking at only two teams for this we'll start with two teams but we'll do something amazing now there are a few of us who are um like there are real good projects going on team if you're excited we can start working i can show you what we're doing where we are but you have to sign the nda and we can do work on it have every one of you fill the sheet and then if you have questions i'm ready to answer them starting from now for the next five minutes please so don't wait for too long for your questions to come can you share the spreadsheet please uh, this spreadsheet i've shared uh, so the link will also be put in the app so if you're watching this as video then look at the link from your web or in the chat or right here it's too big to look and write we'll share it with you in the email okay will you provide any templates and suggestions while we are preparing our resumes oh yes so i'll j for jpac members specifically we will do a lot of those team uh, you'll have project templates some that you will bring some that we have so we will provide whatever we have don't worry on that but typically we've seen the team goes and improvises more and more onto it. So we cannot do this project until we finish this advanced Selenium training. So like I mentioned, just to reiterate, there are multiple skills we're looking at in a project. There is no only automation, automation project. So if you know, let us say even any art, there are projects that are any or any or only. Hey, I know element identifications well. I know how to run the test, report them, identify bugs. There are some brilliant projects team that we're working on. But again, I need that to be a closed circle where all of you are able to, um, you know, be in a very trust-based atmosphere, able to work and collaborate and deliver. I'm putting this link again to the sheet where I want all the names for only the members who are putting in here and also the evening batch whoever joins in I'll kind of coordinate with them all right great uh, I don't see any other questions I think what we should do is just keep going with the sessions the next session will be in a couple of days or so let's go through um, how I form the teams and then I'll assign the tasks what type of live projects you're conducting this time? It's a good question. So team, what do I have? I'll tell you what I have, okay? And then it's a good question. Let's answer, oopsie, not here. Process, current live projects. one team we have a mobile app integration project this is basically an any art with a third party popular uh, tool so they're trying to see if we could integrate them into one there is a um, healthcare mobile app testing that's going on for both Android and iOS. This was a work from home opportunity. Some of the JPAC members have already got linked to this. Um, that's the mobile app integration project. Then we have a web app. Two things, new development of a, a member portal 
and this requires a lot of selenium uh, web driver primarily any yacht team okay and then we have an e-commerce uh, startup which um, we are working on a prototype for them automation prototype automation prototype there is a end-to-end -end custom selenium automation framework implementation but this actual work will start in the month of jan team nothing right away on this these are the ones and we have any yacht and this is totally um any yacht um orange not orange peach dev team so the new latest version of any yacht is also being driven by our uh project members some of some of the contributions are coming from there so you could be part of that too so these are the ones that i have team now i'm more focused somewhere here these two things but these are real client based projects and i can't even really disclose to the client right away all the names of the members who are working on it because it will be a large list uh, but that will be the prime thing thing so team any quick questions i'm going to take a couple quick, quick couple of minutes pause and then handle any last questions so team i have a few more questions from the audience i'm going to quickly address them what is nda nda is basically a non disclosure agreement team that we do so it says that we don't intend to disclose any of the confidential matter of the project that becomes very critical what are you expecting for projects only jpac depending projects only jpac depending upon any certifications well, who are you expecting for projects no 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 uh, not only jpac members team because we have that entire suite right so manual testing, automation engineers, SZ DevOps, and then JPAC members. So anyone with those skills who's contributing, IT learn members are part of it. Some members, what they do is they start with Selenium Live Training, uh, Selenium Training, then they upgrade to live projects and then to JPAC, and that is fine too. But you should be a, a Selenium member at least team to be part of it. So let's put this. Prereq, somewhere I put, okay. IT eLearn member for live projects. All right. What was the other questions that I have still? How do I join the JPAC? So um, JPAC is a batch that we starting every two, three months now. It's the eighth batch that we have, job placement and certified training. You will see a lot of details about JPAC and this website team as to what it does but um uh, how to join jpac is your emails will have all the details team you basically have to go to itlearn.com and sign up for it um and you have all these four options with you there let's see the other questions how long this live project continues anywhere duration yes so we will discuss this on the first session mm, where are we That's interesting. Is it here? Yeah, it's here. Sorry. How long is the project? So, like I said, right, when we get started, we'll talk about the project duration and so on. Um, benefits and here, presentation timeline. So, typically between anywhere between three to three weeks, three to ten weeks, team. The reason I said ten weeks is some of these projects will require additional fine tuning it takes time to build up the entire project so it takes period of time you may be only spending an hour a day uh, for the remaining weeks but some of these projects can take time for you it's your voluntary a lot of people get prepared in three months two months one month and keep going 
what are the prerequisites for starting a project i mentioned so primarily that i'm expecting you to have a manual testing skill how you do project test def defect it's actually not even this anymore so it learn member fly projects manual testing and then automation testing these are the things we're expecting out of this any combination that can fit in for our members we will take because just letting you know team our jpac members take about three to four live projects like this spread over six months so here we're taking one application it can go for three months another application two months and so on it's an advanced training for the team who are familiar with selenium and different tools right karthik so it, this is not training team please note other things um, no training learn from it learn improve from project team and be very self-reliant all right unlike training team unlike training where i'm interacting with you you have a question you share your screen and so on now i am asking the questions you have to answer do we expect any technical support from you after done with the live project yes so at least for the jpac members team that's how we classified the, the four levels you go through your core training certification live projects finishing and grooming and then your job placement and work support those are the three levels um, four levels that you have to go through when i say work support here it is primarily once you get placed or into any of these projects how do you kind of get assistance to the new environments the whole um, member portal of it learn uh, helps into this portion how many hours will we be spending on this project on an average i mean can we do training in this project simultaneously yes absolutely yes like how um so i've seen typically okay one and a half hour training plus two hours live project you know worst case team one and a half hour project and it's a live project and this is live like real project team this could be live or video this doesn't matter but as you learn if you're able to put this there's nothing like it this is a fast track to automation learn and do a project learn and do a project both skills will keep going at the same time may not be successful repeat as many times as needed each time we will get way better team most of the challenges is number of years of experience that you can show on your resume team not the skill level to even get screened or called that is your main uh, how do i say hurdle that you have to figure a good way to come out but then how do you put all these details is something i'll guide while you miss any session in the process of joining uh, from manual to jpack upgrade yes while we miss any session in the process of joining from manual so what happens team members kind of switch between these programs so you have um between training work and home front so it is it is common that this happens in a way that uh, sometimes you take a break sometimes you come back sometimes you're part of it up and down and so on team so these are flexible uh, to handle your uh, uh, your positions so anything that's changing from your positioning then these programs are flexible your team is flexible that's what gives you the um, comfort so let us say you're telling the team team i'm not there for the next three four days can you handle it i'll come back and catch up yeah that's how it works will we be involved in the ongoing current project at this point um so we, we i'm still thinking team which ones to put there is my selfish need because i need real help in these projects there's a lot of good challenge i have to bring you up to speed and then you can do phenomenal job team then there is also from you know uh let's see i'm i'm, I'm sure we'll have the best application 
is IS to give you training will be covered in JPAC? Good question. Even in the earlier one, I just realized that there are two, three things that I missed out. So the certifications like, you know, ISTQB. Like um, ISTQB. Oracle certified Java programmer or Oracle certified Java architect. We have um, PMP certifications. We have any certified tester and any certified developer certifications. A um, lot of other third party certifications team of some credited and so on are part of this. So ISTQB is a specific certification training. So very, very detailed tutorials are an ISTQB team. It's one of our hot selling courses. Uh, everything is included in JPACT. JPACT includes everything. It is unlimited. So to access to all. All right, let's see what else questions. I think that's about it, team. So let's connect again. Um, this will be ongoing. Most of your schedule, you'll get it from the webinars itself. Um, it, so we'll have sessions between Selenium now manual testing to selenium we moving so this project and that will keep going together okay there's a wow this session today team istqb but i think this is already paid trainings and going on uh, foundation level certification so these sessions are also will be you know interesting sessions for you to really work on uh, so you can join them all right everyone thank you so much we'll see you hope for you to get you into these projects and really work on something that you can carry for your career team, uh, both as an experience and as a skill and confidence. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care. Have a great week ahead. We'll speak to you again. Bye now. Bye all.